another video on simplifying radicals. We'll pick up where we left off and we're going to call this example 7. I want to do another one that has an unusual index. Let's say we had something like 7, the fourth root of 32. For a problem like this, we've got to have an exponent to match that index. We have to have an exponent of 4. So I look at my 32 and I have to break that all the way down. I start with 32 divided by 2, takes me to 16. What will start to happen for some of you, as you're constantly working with square roots, you'll recognize that 16 is a square. That 4 times 4 creates 16. But in this situation, that does me no good. Why? Because I'm looking for only things that are raised to the fourth power. So I have to continue to break this down. I go 2, which takes me to 8, 2, which takes me to 4, 2, which takes me to 2. Which means that 32 is really 2 raised to the fifth power. A power of 5 does me no good. I'm looking for a power of 4. So I'll write it as 7 the fourth root of 2 to the fourth and then I have another 2 left over so I'll just put that right beside it. It's all multiplication there. This means that this first 2 because it has the ticket to get out can get out. It loses its ticket becomes 7 times 2 fourth root of 2. And as I mentioned earlier when we are simplifying radicals you have to make sure that everything's multiplied out. You're free with free and you're jailed with jailed. You cannot stop here. You have to make sure it's completely simplified. So you would tell me 14 fourth root of 2. And we're going to change gears for the next example. So this would be my final answer. 14 fourth root of 2. For example 8, I'm going to bring in a variable. And usually when we go like to the next level, you think that all oh, the problems are going to get that much more difficult. With variables, I'm not going to say that it's easier, but that part of it, dealing with the variable, actually is pretty easy. So an example, let's go back to just a regular square root, 600 x cubed y squared zebra. We'll start with a numeric value, numeric part. 600 I recognize to be 6, which technically this should be a prime number out here, but I know that 2 times 3, neither part's going to get out, and when I divide this by 6, I get to a square. So I'm trying to show you that when you start to get a little more experience, you get very comfortable with this, you can immediately follow and find your square part and say, well, wait a second, that's going to be a 10 squared and that leaves me with a 2 and a 3, which neither part would get out. So I could call this the square root of 10 squared. Then I've got 6, which again, 2 times 3, I know neither part's coming out. As I move to my variables, I'm just looking to match this index. I need a square to get out. So the x to the cube, or x to the third, could be called x squared, x. The y squared is primed and ready to get out. And then I got a zebra. Now as I look at this, I'll bring those components out. I'll call it 10 x, y, and these parts will be left in. I've got a 6 that's going to be stuck in there, an x that's stuck in there, and a z that's stuck in there. So I call it a square root of 6 x z. Now, as you look at this, you may be wondering why I left so much space with the x and y. You have to think back to all the times that you've solved algebra problems. When you are bringing terms out of a radical, you have to ensure that all of your answers are positive. And if you think about all the algebra problems you've solved, do you know that the value for x is positive? 
do you know that the value of y is positive? If you think back, sometimes we had like x equaling negative 5, negative 2 and 2 thirds. Maybe y was negative 8. I don't know that those values are positive. So what we do is we call this the principal root. The principal root means you guarantee a positive answer. If you have a variable that's raised to an odd power, so it's x to the first, y to the first, you put absolute values around anything raised to an odd power. And so my final answer, principal root, guarantees positive answer, is 10, absolute value, x times y, radical 6xz. And so that guarantees that we have what's called the principal root. The principal root means that we have a positive answer. Principal root. And let's do one more example on this. We'll call it example 9 for this video. And this time let's say we have 3 square root 80 a to the 4th b squared c to the 6th. We start with the number. We want to break that down. And so we look at 80. I can divide it by 2. Takes me to 40. Divide by 2. Takes me to 20. Divide by 2. Takes me to 10. Divide by 2. Takes me to 5. So when I look at this, I'm looking for pairs so that I can bring them out. I have two sets of 2. So I can look at this as 3 square root of a 2 squared, 2 squared, 5. Then as I look at the a to the fourth, once again I'm looking for an index of 2 so I can call this a squared, a squared. b squared is ready to go. c squared, c squared, c squared. That gives me a c to the six. So I prime these all up. Anybody with an exponent of 2 can come out. And so as I bring these out, I'll bring two twos out. Two times two is four. Four times three would be 12 on the outside. I'm bringing two a's out, so a a would be a squared. I'm bringing one b out. And c c c, which would be c to the third. This five was left under the radical, so I call that square root five. And then the principal root idea says you have to check any of your variables. Make sure that they are to an even power. If they're an even power, they're guaranteed positive. Think of it like negative two times negative two comes out to be positive four. So if they're squared, they're guaranteed positive. But this bear here, this could be an angry bear. It's raised to the first power. This cow was raised to the third. It could be angry. So we ensure that they're happy. We basically parole them and say, you will be watched. Make sure you're happy. And so we get 12 a squared b c cubed rad 5. That would be your principal root. That would be your final answer. Now we have nine examples on how to simplify radicals.